скорая едет, ну это тоже какой-то это. А там огородили, видишь? With spring approaching, Ukraine's forces had managed to hold off Russian advances through the worst of the winter months. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said this in an interview with CBS News. We have stabilized the situation. It is better than it used to be two or three months ago when we had a big deficit of artillery ammunition, different kinds of weapons, he said, we totally didn't see the big, huge counteroffensive from Russia. They didn't have success, he said. But Zelensky acknowledged that the invading Russian troops and their seemingly endless supply of missiles and shells had destroyed some villages, according to CBS News. We didn't have rounds, artillery rounds, a lot of different things, he said, stressing that while his troops have managed to keep the Russians largely at bay up to now, they're not prepared to defend against another major Russian offensive expected in the coming months. That, he said, was expected around the end of May or in June, he said. And before that, we not only need to prepare, we not only need to stabilize the situation, because the partners are sometimes really happy that we have stabilized the situation," Zelensky said of the US and Ukraine's other backers. No, I say we need help now. He said what's needed most are American Patriot missile defense systems and more artillery. While he's grateful for the billions of dollars in U.S. support his country has already received, he said the nature of the funding dedicated by the American government to help Ukraine must be put into perspective, with lawmakers in the U.S. still wrangling after months of partisan gridlock over a $60 billion aid package. Zelensky acknowledged that the war in Gaza had refocused global attention and U.S. aid away from his country's struggle.